Welcome everyone. I want to thank everyone who's liked and subscribed and left comments in my videos. Thank you so much. That's a great way to help me grow the channel. And tonight I want to respond to a comment that one of my subscribers left me. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So a few months ago, I left, um, well, I made this video back in March about a fast action space with the simplest reward function, simply returning the speed. Right. So I was talking about uh, how one would do that and to, thinking about the coverage of the track and all this stuff and whether or not simply returning the speed would yield a good enough uh, race. And our Pete here left a, an interesting message. He said, doesn't help. It doesn't help in other maps I've tried. And I took that as a challenge. I wanted to show him that, yes, that uh, this actually does work on other maps. And the map he's using is Debro Raceway, which was the July Open Qualifier. So what does this track look like? Well, let's take a look. So I'm going to jump over here to uh, my notebook uh, and to basically load up the July Open and plot out the track, right? So you can see it's it's a fun one, to be honest with you. A straightaway followed by a gentle turn, a tighter turn, and then this S turn here, that's a bit of a challenge. So I'm just gonna, you know, tell you what happened. I trained on this track, simply returning the speed. And indeed it was going, the car did great. It was so fast around here. It really found a nice racing line all by itself. But when it got to waypoint 71, it would, it will just crash. It will just go right off the map, right? Like, boom, it'll, it'll just cut over here. And it was uh, kind of game over for the car. So what do we do in this case? Well, we need to modify the reward function. And today I'm going to show you what I did. All right, so over here in the console, here's my experiment. Let's open this up. Uh, I was training a model and then I got interrupted. I had to stop it and I just continued into, um, training afterwards. I cloned it. That's why this graph's a little bit messed up. But as you can see, it's essentially overtrained. Um, I think I could have gotten even faster times if I had paid attention. And honestly, I was just, uh, I think I started watching a movie and before I knew it, this thing had converged really quickly. So that's why this graph is all messed up. I really should have ended it much earlier. Uh, so what you probably want to know what the reward function looks like, and I'm going to show you. So the reward function is really simple, guys. I'm just showing it here. So you believe me, I'm not making this up. Return speed, right? <laughs> That's all it is. But guess what? If we're, if we're here, we're going to be going as fast as we can, right? Like if if the reward function is return speed, it's always going to go the fastest speed, or it's going to promote that, right? But so, what do you do? Do you speed up on the cur on the turn? No, you slow down, right? And you have to you have to help the computer know that, right? You just got to tell them, hey, dude, you know, on the turn, slow down. And that's what I did, right? So I said, hey, if the waypoint is in is between fifty nine and eighty two, right? 59 over here and 82 over here. So this crazy S turn, right? If it's between those two spots, if you're going faster than two, then return zero, right? Return a very low value. So don't be, don't go pedal to the metal on that turn, right? Just slow down, right? So that's it. That's the only change I made. All right, so let's take a look at the results. So again, this was, uh, let me actually zoom back out to make it easier for us to see. Um, I created a community race. I will share the link with everyone in the comments. You can come along and uh, try your model against mine. It's the Debro Raceway. Uh, I already ran this thing. Look at this, 59 seconds. Right, experiment 71A, that one I showed you before. Let's watch it. And as you can see, 
it is lightning bolt fast on the turns. Uh, again, I overtrained it. I think it could have been even faster, but you know, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching a movie. I came back to it and it was basically completing lap after lap. And when the, once that happens, it's actually learning to go slower. Uh, but in any case, um, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. It's a little wobbly. Again, I think it's because I overtrained it. When you overtrain it, just it starts rewarding extra steps. So now it, again, I it would have been faster if I had kept an eye on it. And look at that, nice and smooth all around the track. This track is super fun to train on. Once you see that it gaining speed on those long, gentle turns, it just it feels so satisfying. So there you go. It learned again. I didn't tell it to follow optimal raceway. If, if uh, excuse me, optimal race line, it figured it out on its own. So you might be wondering, okay, well, how does that compare to um, the qualifier? Okay, this is 59.191, right? Well, let's look at the virtual circuit and see what happened. So this was July qualifier, Debro Raceway, this one right here. Let's look at the leaderboard. It's gonna take a second to load up. Okay, so it loaded up. What did I say? 59 seconds? Look at this. Would have been top five, right? Let's just go back. 59191, 59040. I would have been top five in the July with that simple reward function. So now you might be wondering, well, how about the action space? Well, you know what? This is where I can't give away all the answers, right? You guys are gonna have to put on your thinking hats uh, and figure this out. But I will give you a little, a little sneak peek. Look at the uh, steering angles I got here, right? Zero, five, negative five, 15, negative 15, 30, and 35. That's it. Uh, so I assigned fast speeds to the short, the small angles and slow speeds to the big angles, right? It kind of makes sense. So I let you uh, play around with that. I will let you know what my hyperparameters were. I know a lot of people ask about this. I had a discount factor of 0.985. I've been having a lot of luck with that one. Learning rate, I did, excuse me, I did um, got a little more aggressive on this one, 0 0.004. Uh, you'd be cautious with this. You could easily mess up your models if you go a little too aggressive there. Uh, but yes, uh, you might notice I'm using 32 examples, 32 episodes per iteration. I do have eight workers, so that's a lot of a lot of episodes, right? That quickly adds up. Um, uh, so anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Good luck, everyone. I hope this was useful. I hope this was helpful and hopefully inspirational. You can indeed use a very simple reward function for the open. It's not that hard to do. Just put on your thinking caps. Think about what makes sense if you're driving a car. Uh, it kind of translates here. Uh, and then when you get to the pros, you know, it gets harder, right? This is not, this trick is not going to work on the pro circuit. Uh, you definitely need to take it up a, a level. But anyway, I hope this gets you started and um, see you on the racetrack. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click the like button if you want to see more of this content. 